Aloha, my name is Dr. Sue Jarvie and I'm a professor at the University of Hawaii located in Hilo, Hawaii. I'd like to talk with you today about a parasite called Angiostrongylus cantonensis. It's a nematode that can be found in tropical and subtropical regions across the world. And it is a uh, parasite that can cause a disease called angiostrongyliasis, either neuroangiostrongyliasis or ocular angiostrongyliasis. And it involves two main hosts. One is the definitive host, which is the rat, and the other is the intermediate host, which is the slug or snail. In the infected rat, this parasite develops to adult, uh, reproduces, produces eggs, and the L1 stage are released in the feces. L1 stage are not infective to humans or rats, uh, so this is not the stage of concern. The stage of concern is when it is ingested by the slug or the snail, the intermediate host, and it develops from the first stage to the third stage. This L3 stage is infective back to rats in which that completes the life cycle, but it's also infective to many vertebrates, including humans, dogs, horses, lots of different primates. So this is the stage that is of concern. So many people don't know how they become infected. Uh, we do know that ingestion is the main form. Uh, ingestion of the L3 stage larva, either on fresh produce that is not properly prepared, cooked, or frozen, or through water. Here in Hilo, we hosted the sixth international rat lungworm workshop in January 2020. And in that workshop, there were scientists represented from eight different countries. The papers from those that meeting are now published in a special issue of parasitology. This issue of parasitology is especially significant in Hawaii because Hawaii is considered the infection hotspot for the United States. Additionally, Hawaiian researchers were the first to connect the dots between the parasite and the disease back in the 1960s. And in the decade following, since the 1960s and 70s, there were a lot of papers uh, published uh, on this disease. But in the decades following, this disease was largely ignored by state and federal agencies. The special issue of parasitology compiles the most recent cutting edge research and information about the rat lungworm parasite, Angiostrongylus cantonensis. Uh, the papers provide crucial information for those agencies and professionals in areas where the parasite is endemic as well as areas where the parasite is in it expanding. The publication validates that Angiostrongylus cantonensis is an organism of concern and that Angiostrongyliasis is an emerging disease with potentially debilitating and deadly outcomes. The inclusion of updated information on the best practices for diagnosis and treatment of Angiostrongyliasis, which is crucial to preventing serious disease like that found in Hawaii, uh, is long overdue and is welcome. Finally, for those who have suffered the disease and their caregivers may find solace in that parasitology recognizes that the rat lungworm as a parasite of importance and through this publication aims to draw global attention to the need for continued research and disease prevention education. With full approval and encouragement by Cambridge University Press, we've taken an innovative approach to try to reach wider audiences through the development of a non-technical version of these papers. These are informational briefs which were written and or reviewed by the original authors. This publication is freely available to the general public electronically or by hard copy. The Jarvi Lab website is updated regularly with resources, frequently asked questions, and educational information. We've recently developed an online education program available to the general public and clinicians who are interested in obtaining continuing education credit. Please visit our website. So this special issue has allowed us to come full circle. We'd like to thank Cambridge University Press and Parasitology for producing this monumental publication.